what is the story with crystals? Any benefits or is it total woo? This is JJ Virgin, four-time New York Times bestselling author, celebrity nutrition expert, and fitness hall of famer. I've been on a lifelong quest for answers to the toughest health questions. And now I'm sharing what I found with you. Welcome to Ask the Health Expert. Sarah from Instagram asks, what's the story with crystals? Any benefits or is it total woo? Hey, it's JJ, and I've got Serena Poon here today to answer this question. She's a Le Cordon Bleu trained chef, certified nutritionist, and Reiki master to the Hollywood elite. She started by creating contemporary meals, nutrition plans, and menus for the likes of everyone from Jerry Bruckheimer to Kerry Washington to Sean P. Diddy Combs. Her passion for integrative health and holistic nutrition led her to create Culinary Alchemy a method of functional and spiritual nutrition that integrates how food affects our bodies on a physiological and energetic level. She's also a crazy good gift giver. I've gotten some of my favorite crystals from her. We'll be right back to answer this question, so stay with me. I love questions about crystals because Across many cultures, we have actually been using crystals for both their physical and metaphysical benefits in health and healing for centuries. I mean, crystal healing works on the principle that every cell in the body vibrates at a specific frequency. And this principle has been applied throughout human history. I mean, crystals have been revered for the effects they were considered to have oscillating at their own natural frequency. So it's taken generations, but we now know that there is actually a scientific basis for this type of experiential knowledge, which quantum physics has actually helped to explain. Quantum science has shown that everything that surrounds us is a brimming mass of energy, including us, you know, as human beings. And we know that every particle has an impact on the particles around it, and that this affects the energetic formation of our surroundings. As humans, we are surrounded by an electromagnetic field known as the aura. We can totally have another conversation another day about auras. But, you know, in order for our physical body to remain in a state of good health, the molecules in our aura and our physical body need to resonate at a base frequency that is healthy. And when these frequencies change from our normal, quote, healthy state, we then become ill. That's when disease happens because disease happens when there is an imbalance or blockage in our energy flow and the disease will start in the energetic field and then it becomes transmuted to where it manifests as a physical condition. And the cause of disease is often, you know, psychological or physical trauma and sometimes both. But in order for there to be healing, there has to be a rebalancing of the energy body and what caused the disease, quote disease, to manifest has to be dealt with as well as making the necessary lifestyle changes. Crystal healing as a modality is used to bring that vibration of the body back into harmony and then therefore improving any condition related to disease or discomfort. So when I'm working in a healing session, the energy within the crystal is brought close to that 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 area in like my clients recipients energy field and used to influence the vibration of that person's energy field to bring about the healing crystals are actually able to move vibrations into the physical plane through their means of their base resonance vib- vibrations so everything in the universe vibrates and crystals bring about healing through the use of the law of resonance The law of resonance is basically where one body of energy can influence another, where the one with the highest amplitude will bring the other into resonance with it. So a common example used to explain the law of resonance is the use of tuning forks. So if you start a tuning fork on a wood base in one end of a room, and then you have another tuning fork, similar tuning fork, also on a wooden base, which will act as its amplifier, somewhere else in the room, 
that tuning for that second tuning fork that you did not touch will start by itself sparked into action by the first tuning fork. So if you can visualize it, you can strike a tuning fork and, and it's on, you know, it's on that wooden base to, that makes it really amplify and vibrate you without touching the other tuning fork, it will eventually start to vibrate because of this law of resonance, because of the vibrations. So in crystal healing, when people are off balance from their natural frequency, their vibration would be weaker than that of the crystal. And so according to this law of resonance, the vibration of the weaker body will then adjust its vibration to match that of the stronger energetic body when brought into the same environment or same surroundings. As a Reiki master and healer, I really, truly believe in the healing power of crystals. And I actually use them regularly in my own work with you know my clients, even if it's a distal treatment. And we can talk about distal, distal Reiki another time. But definitely when I'm with them, you know, Working with the natural healing frequency of the crystal can be activated by me, by the healer, or by the practitioner. So that, that intentional energy can really drive energy from the universal energy field and it can be channeled through that crystal. And that crystal then transmits and amplifies the corrected frequency to the cells within the body of the person that needs balancing. So again, in following the laws of resonance, as I mentioned earlier, these cells are then returned to like a very, a normal balanced base frequency, which will then bring the physical body back into a place of harmony and, and restore health, you know, or like ba- at least bring back balance levels. So if you're infusing self-care with crystals, you can really help balance and enhance your energy while you're also caring for your physical body and your energetic body. I also believe that infusing crystals into products can be highly beneficial. So when products are made with with love and good intention, the power of that intention is is then passed along to the consumer or to the recipient. So that's my belief, and I'm hoping that a little bit of uh, quantum physics and quantum science can help really explain that. But I definitely think it's worthwhile to do some research because different types of alternative healing modalities affect different people in different ways. You know, we're all very unique, and so s- people respond to modalities in different ways. But as a practitioner, I have really seen the beautiful healing benefits of using crystals. This is JJ with Ask the Health Expert. I do this five times a week, so make sure you never miss a show by going to subscribe to JJ.com.